As you've been hearing, the army is ready to help ease fuel supply problems after a fourth day of long queues and pump closures. Up to 150 military tanker drivers will be trained up and deployed if required. Many people went to fill up at petrol stations amid fears a shortage of lorry drivers would hit fuel supplies, which remain plentiful at refineries. The UK is estimated to be short of more than 100,000 lorry drivers, causing problems for a range of industries, including food suppliers and supermarkets, in recent months. A man has been charged with the murder of primary school teacher Sabina Nessa, who was killed as she walked to meet a friend in south-east London. Kochi Selamaj was arrested in Eastbourne in East Sussex on Sunday. The 36-year-old will appeal, appear at Will's the Magistrates Court today. That's uh, coming from the Metropolitan Police. US singer R. Kelly has been found guilty of exploiting his superstar status to run a scheme to sexually abuse women and children over two decades. Eleven accusers, nine women and two men took to the stand over the six-week trial to describe sexual humiliation and violence at his hands. After two days of deliberation, the jury found Kelly guilty in all the charges he was facing. Sentencing is due on the 4th of May next year. He could spend the rest of his life behind bars. Shadow Cabinet member Andy MacDonald has quit Labour's front bench with a scathing attack on leader Sir Keir Starmer. In his resignation letter published in the middle of Labour's party conference at Brighton, the MP said his party leader had made Labour more divided than ever. Mr MacDonald, who was the Shadow Employment Secretary, also accused the Labour leader of not honouring his pledges to members. Sir Keir thanked him for his service but said his own focus was on winning the next general election. Stormont ministers have agreed to end social distancing restrictions for shops, theatres and a number of other indoor settings in Northern Ireland. The executive has asked some sectors to put in place mitigations, including proof of double vaccination or a negative lateral flow test. But this will be advice and not legally enforceable. Ministers did not uh, consider social distancing in the hospitality sector. This will be discussed on the 7th of October. The changes for indoor seated venues, indoor visitor attractions and retail settings will take effect from 6pm this Thursday, the 30th of September. And that's the date when the UK-wide furlough scheme ends. Scientists are warning politicians immersed in climate change policy not to forget that the world is also in the midst of a plastic waste crisis. They fear that so much energy is being expended on emissions policy that tackling plastic pollution will be sidelined. A paper from the Zoological Society of London and Bangor University says plastic pollution and climate change are not separate, emphasising that the issues are actually intertwined and each makes the other worse. The far-right group Britain First is registered as a political party after its application was approved by the Electoral Commission. Party leader Paul Golding said he was ecstatic and would start building the electoral arm of our party. The party was deregistered in 2017 after it failed to renew its registration on time. Electoral Commission spokesperson said the party's application had met the legal criteria.